how you doing, everybody? David Patterson, Pioneer League Sports Center. We are at April, so uh, April Fools. And it was no joking matter when the New York Patriots hit the field for the first time for the 2023 season. Let's take a look at the highlights real quick. Jernigan running toward the sideline. Score late. Jernigan throws in. Don't. It's knocked up in the air, and it is caught for a touchdown. For a touchdown. Chris Pierre. In He breaks a tackle and takes off toward the sideline. He has blocking in front of him. He cuts it in toward the side. Center of the field makes another man miss, and Collins is gone. He is into the end zone for a Patriots touchdown. Touchdown. Yeah, great. So as the spring is officially uh, right at our doorstep with Easter Sunday this weekend, it, the Patriots are back at it 
this week against the New York Ducks. That's a 5 p.m. kickoff over at Roy Wilkins Park in Queens as a interleague matchup between the TFL Ducks and the IFA Patriots. Looks to be a looks to be a good one. So uh, moving forward, let's check out the other scores in the IFA in the Southern Conference. We are still at this particular point having the Connecticut Falcons at the top of the standings as they uh, squeak out a victory over the Seacoast Warhawks. The Syracuse smash came down to Brooklyn and came up short up against the New York Dolphins of the TFL. Uh, so that puts them behind the Patriots in the standings, along with the Crusaders, who obviously with the head-to-head -head with the Patriots uh, are now picking up last place. In the North, the Norsemen beat the Boston Chargers, and in other action, uh, and in other non-action, I should say, the uh, Boston East Boston Jets uh, had the off week. So uh, that's how the standings look so far. So moving on, we have some other things going on. Ford Women's Basketball, NIT, uh, some great action there. We were able to check out that game. At, uh, Fordham came up just short up against Columbia University. Columbia made a run from there, defeating teams like Syracuse and uh, a few other teams on the way to coming up just short in the championship game of the NIT against uh, the Kansas Jayhawks out in Kansas uh, by six points. So moving on, spring football is blazed, and uh, local teams are doing some great things. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the Bronx Avengers. They're doing some great things. The Bronx Buccaneers are back at it on the gridiron along with a few other teams as well. We'll give you some updates from them. The Van Cortland Titans are doing some workouts. Make sure you check them out. And we will absolutely um, check them out during the course of their spring season as well. Speaking of spring football, Columbia University and Fordham University, both in spring football schedules. Columbia University actually has open practices. So, you can check that out if you're not doing anything during the spring break. Check out one of their practices. They do a great job over there. And uh, looking forward to getting back out there for spring games. So for another episode of Pioneer Sports Center, this is David Patterson. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching today. Pioneer Sports Center is brought to you by Black's Barbecue, best in New York. Nobles of the Smoke, the sponsor of the Nobles of the Smoke Bowl for the New York Patriots. And Knockout Punch. Thank you to all our sponsors.